Hello and welcome to Infinity. Chromatic aberration or purple fringing uh, affects a lot of photographs. Let's have a look for it here. And if I zoom into the middle, I'm not seeing much here. But if I go towards the edges, and it's the edges of pictures where you start to see it, you can see here, oops, it's just having point rendering. There we go. Look at the purple on the edge of these things and green at the other side. This is chromatic aberration. That's why it's called purple fringing, because you can see the effects there. And the more towards the edge of the picture we go, the more pronounced it gets. Look at that. Isn't it horrible? OK, so, so let's in fact, and there's even more down here. Let's just zoom in on this bit here and see what we can do. In the photo persona, we normally go to the lens tab here, go down to chromatic aberration and click on that. And sometimes people will just default, just click on that for every single picture without really thinking because it gets rid of a lot of it. But this is a particularly bad example, as you can see here. See if it's going to reduce it a bit, maybe altogether. Let's see how far it goes. And it uh, takes a little while. Chromatic aberration, by the way, happens in three situations. Uh, here we go, it's finished. Oh, look, there you are. See, it's improved it. See, that's got a lot better. It was quite brighter, but there's still some there. So we can use the defringe here, but I prefer to use it in the photo persona. So let's hit develop. And I'll carry on talking about when it happens. And there's three situations. And uh, one of those is when you've got to using a zoom lens and you're at the wide open, you know, zoomed right in or zoomed right out which I was here. It uh, also happens when you've got a high contrast uh, situation at the edge here between, so there's the white of the sky and the dark of the trees, so that makes it worse. Uh, and also happens when you've got the uh, aperture wide open. And I was being driven in a car, shooting out the window, so I had a five hundredth of a second speed, which meant the aperture was f2.8, which made also that worse. So we can fix it in here. And uh, the way we fix it here is two ways. You can get to it. If you go to filters, colors, you can go to it here to defringe. And this is the destructive way. In other words, once you've done it, you can only reverse it by using an undo. You can also go to layer, new life filter layer, and you can do a non-destructive one, which means you can go back and change it or take it off altogether. So let's have a look at this. And what you can often do here is the cursor becomes a crosshairs and you can click on the colour and it'll try and find that colour. doesn't always work. Sometimes you're still going to do it manually because this is the colour here, along here, which it will try to fix. <coughs> and uh, it often starts off at purple because purple is the most common colour you want to get rid of. You may also want to get rid of the green, which you can also use. You can use the also remove complementary hue. I prefer to do them separately because it that's not always great. First thing I do is start turning down the edge brightness threshold. And look what's happened here. The moment I've started that, that's disappeared. What happens if I click this as well? Also remove the other side. No, nothing much has happened there. So uh, that's why I tend not to, to do that. But here we go. That's already made a huge fix on that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in another one. So I click the layer again. I can go down to here as well and hit the defringe filter from there. So here I've got a, another layer in here. And what happens if I click on the green? Will it find it? No, it's not found the green. That's OK. I can just move this up here. And I'll just bring down the edge brightness threshold, see if it'll find it. I can also slide this colour up and down here to see whether it's going to improve it. If that doesn't work, <coughs> you can bring all this all the way down. Tolerance and radius, you go upward the opposite way. And that will just play around with those. And look at that, that's pretty much got it, hasn't it? You yeah, know, where's the green in that? And even across the picture, we've lost all that. And typically what we'll do is you kind of bring it back the other way until it's kind of reaching the edge and starting to reappear again. 
and uh, you can okay to leave it at that point so anyway there you go how to take off that purple and green fringing with the chromatic aberration and using the defringe hope that was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching